My name is Mark Hart, Purse Trainer at Habit Heart Fitness, based in East Morning, East Sussex. We help men and women over 30 live happier and healthier lives. So, um, from my experiences, um, from a lot of running I do, and because I've got a tight hip mainly on my left side, uh, I get a lot of sciatic pain. So, I thought I'd show you a quick video on how to relieve that tension and how to strengthen the muscles around that area just to help it ease it off a little bit and get you more stability in the hip. So, a lot of clients are uh, suffering from this. This generally is because we're sitting down sedentary lifestyle, so I'm just going to show you just a few exercises we can do at home. Just literally, you can use a band and I've got a towel just to assist the stretch. What I need to do. So, the first one we need to do is just release the hamstrings a little bit, make them more flexible to get into the positions we need to be in. So, I'm going to get my band. Uh, you can use a towel if you want to, but the band I find is more, it's more better for me, so I've got that stretch better. Um, hold it in position, and there's more flexibility in the band as well, so I can lie down and get in the correct position. So, we don't do much tension on the band, but we want one leg up, lie right down on the floor, and just kind of relax yourself, and then hold it down nice and straight. So, this is my left side, this is my worst side, so I'm just going to ease through that stretch through that band. I don't want any pain at all on that hip. Mild tension is good, but I don't want any sharp pain, so that's going to keep my lower back into the floor, keep my head down. Relax your shoulders and just pull through the band. Just gently stretch. Just one 30 second hold. So I don't want the knee bent. Straight as I possibly can, but very, very slightly bent. Take the pressure off the back of the knee. And stretch it. So hold it for 30 seconds and feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Then I want to pull that foot. Now, this is one that's going to be quite painful. Now, you will feel some tension. You're going to push through the band with your foot, straighten the leg out completely, and then pull that across. The body, so across the midline of the body, and push through that. And you feel that tension straight down the IT band. So we're going to literally straighten that leg out and then breathe through the stomach. Can't straighten and breathe in to get your body to relax and hold that stretch on. Head. From the diaphragm, breathe in, breathe in, push the stomach out, breathe out, pull the stomach in. Switch the mind off, get the mind to relax with the body. So once you've done that 30 seconds, come back across, pull that up a bit more. Just trying to ease that tension up in the back of the leg. Okay, so once you've done that, what we can do is bend the knee, a bit of a boot stretch, hand across, and pull that into you. Stretch through the back of the hip. So you stretch your knee, but it's out again, keeping the leg down. Just gently, just very, very gently stretch and pull that knee in towards you. In about 30 seconds, take the stretch back on. Quite get a bit more now. And stretch through. So I'm trying to. Gradually stretch it a little bit more if I can. Feel the tension in the back of the leg, but not too much pressure on it. Give them 30 seconds, pull that again across the midline this way you can feel that tension, and just ease it off with the RT band runs down the side of the leg. And come back across. Same thing again. So you can do this three times, and then pull that in just to ease off the hip. Okay? So repeat that again, come up. And then coming across. And then pulling it in. So I'll just show you very quickly. This 30 second hold. Alright, so once that's eased the tension right here, now I can concentrate on the hip. So we don't need the band for a minute. So what we'll do here is you sit down. So I want to put my left ankle across the right leg to see if I'm going to stretch out. Hold the ankle, push the ankle against the right knee. Lie right down. So I want to externally rotate to push the knee away from you, but internally rotate the hip. So I can feel that stretch now. So the piriformis muscle joins onto the hip and the outside of the uh, top of the femur. So I literally condyles the femur muscle ready. I'm going to feel that stretch. So I get to internally rotate and I pull that, push that outside of the knee and stretch that out. So that excited nerve runs down there, then the piriformis is really, really tight, it pulls the hips in. So it causes a lot of sharp pain, you know, the RT band as well. So just going to stretch all that air out. So pushing the knee away from you and turn and turn the hip. So in a 30 second hold, just hold it in there. And then breathe. And relax. Then you turn and rotate. And then external rotate the hip. So now it lengthens the muscle. And repeat that again. Breathe in. 
You always just try and breathe out when you're stretching. Mind and body to relax. Might feel a little bit of pressure inside the hip as well, the adductor is. So it's where you feel tightness in there, just trying to get the body to relax. So repeat that three times. So once you've done that, just loosen the whole area up. Then I'm going to use my towel. So I've moved the towel, I'm going to hook it around the other leg. Stay lying down. Something might more flexible than me, and you can hold up two hands, but for me it's more comfortable for me to hold that position for the stretch. Now I'm going to really bring that towel in, pull, and just stretch through. So you can see I've got a lot of mobility in my hip, but I just want to stretch that out. Pushing to the floor. And then I let it down. And relax. Okay? So that helps take the tension out, just releases the pressure. So then we're going to keep that foot up. I'm going to put it down just to switch around and show you. But what I'll do is keep that foot up and I'll drop to the side. Okay? But I'm going to put it back to you guys. I'll show you the way around. So it's all you're going to do there from now on, alright? So I'll come around. Just show you something around. So that foot's up, yeah? So, what I'm going to do here, keep your hand on the ankle, just drop down to the side very obviously. So from here, just hold that ankle in, block it off with the leg. Other hand to stretch away from you, open your chest up. So you're going to breathe in. Now we're going to literally strengthen the muscles around the outside of the hips, your adductors. Really push that knee away from you. So pull it away, pull it away, and you feel that come on straight away. So the muscles firing up, the piriformis. So what we're doing there, trying to strengthen it, okay? So strengthen the muscle around there, gives it more stability. So mobility works, so flexibility, stability, so equals mobility. So trying to get that a lot stronger. It is quite painful, but we're just trying to just pull that on. You don't want really sharp pain, but you feel the tension on there. And get your body and mind, breathing, and your body to relax. And as you relax, then we're going to lengthen it. I'm going to pull that in. Keep the other arm down on the floor. Hand across. Just trying to look at your hand and stretch that out. Bring my other hand down again. Breathe in. Fire the muscles up. And pull that knife away from you. So I'm literally just holding on to the ankle. Blocking off the leg. But open up. Lip. 30 seconds and then just run it down. Stretch it out. Okay, so repeat that three times. So, then what we could do, just a strength exercise to finish up, do called clam shells. We're going to um, abduct, take the knees away from each other. Again, we can relax on the floor, head relaxed, wherever you want to be, we feel comfortable. To work on abduction, you can strengthen the muscles around the outside of the hip. Okay, so from there, we're going to breathe in. Breathe out, just open up. Keep your feet together. You can use a band resistance as well if you look stronger. So we're actually working on abduction. So that strength phase we're working on now. Okay, so really pull that out. Just hook the band around the legs, around the outside. Okay, so it works the strength work. And so you can repeat that. To fatigue on three to four sets, okay? So that will help loosen the muscles around the joint, but strengthen them at the same time, okay? So that sciatic nerve, it runs down, runs down the side of the leg, gets quite painful and sore, if we were sitting down a lot during the day, you know, we've got sensory lifestyles, so it's going to strengthen it, plus get it more flexible, it needs that pressure off you guys, so off the hips, okay? So I find it works quite well for me, and I'll do it probably every day, just spend 10 minutes on it, just loosens the hip up. So I hope you like the video, so give this a go, leave comments, um, leave likes, and please share the videos as we go through. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.